All right, we're going to get started. Good morning. All right, I'm Anna Gibbs. Today's Monday, so it must be Monday Morning Mojo. How are you guys? If you are with me, let me know. I would love to hear from you. So I am going to follow along with all of you guys on Facebook as well. And if you're with me this morning, let me know. Give me a little heart. Give me a little thumbs up. Something to tell me that you're hanging out this morning with all of us. And it is Monday, so it's the beginning of another week. And I want to ask you, what is your intention for this week? Think about that, right? Do you start the week with something in mind, like an intention? Or are you just up and at it and looking at your calendar and figuring out what meetings you have today and you're working through all of those, those things and you're going through all the motions and do you ask yourself, what do I want to accomplish this week? How do I wanna feel doing it? Where do I wanna be on Friday? So right now, I wanna give you an opportunity to do just that, to think about it. Right now, I want you to think about what is my intention for the week? And keep it simple, keep it simple, one concise thought. And I'm gonna walk you through this. I want you to think about all the things you have uh, in your life right now, your, your career, your relationship, uh, relationships, your health and wellness, your finances, your spirituality. Pick one area that you know you need to put some attention to. Pick one area that you know is important and needs uh, your focus, okay? So when you have that in mind, now I want you to think, what is my intention in that area of my life this week? What do I want to grow? What do I want to complete? What do I want to start? What do I want to increase? What do I want to experience? How do I want to feel? Where do I want to be at the end of the week? Right? How important is that? Hey there, it's Monday, it's a new week. What's the intention? Because I don't know about you, I'm going to be honest, I've been feeling like I've been going and going on this hamster wheel, right? And, and you know, I love my life, I do. And I'm a human being who only has so much capacity, who's with me on that, right? Let me know if you're with me on that. And so we have to think about, okay, where can I put my energy where it will be served at the highest level? right? Because energy cannot be destroyed nor created. It can only be transferred. So wherever you give your energy, is it going to give back to you in a way that allows you to go on and do more great things? Or are you depleting that energy and not really getting mindful or purposeful about where you want to put your time, attention, and energy, right? So if you're just joining me, good morning. Let me know you're here, guys. Give me a little high five, a little uh, heart on Facebook, because I've realized there are so many of you who watch this on the live stream. So I'd love to know if you're there. So just tell me that you're there. And, and tell me, is this resonating with you? How many of you can say, you know, Anna, I needed this reminder today um, because I want to get a little bit more intentional where I put my time and energy. I want to do things with a little bit more purpose, right? I want to see that I can make great things happen, not only for others, but for myself. And maybe I'm doing this because I'm talking to myself today and that's okay. Cause I need to hear this message, right? I'm coaching myself as I hope to coach any of you. So what is your intention for the week? So something that I do on most days, I will be honest, not every day, but on most days, um, and I've shared this once or twice before, there's a few different um, card decks that you can uh, pick up that are, you know, inspirational or motivational. Um, this one happens to be from Gabby Bernstein. This is the Spirit Junkie card deck, and it has um, 52 cards in it, just like a deck of cards. And the way that I use it is I just shuffle them up and pick one randomly and see how that could be a message from, let's say, the universe, right? Nothing woo-woo. Don't get all weird on me, guys. It's just cute and fun. And sometimes, you know, 
I find most times I find that um, the card I pick is significant. And so today I thought it'd be fun to do this with you. So I love this card. Here it is, this is the one that I picked. It says, I accept the gifts I've been given as a high service to the world. I accept the gifts I've been given as a high service to the world. Wow, that's a good one. So listen, you just set your intention for the week. Now I want you to ask yourself, what gifts do I have that I can put out there in a bigger way that can be of more service to people or can be of higher service to more people? What are your unique gifts? You know you have them, we all do, right? And I think that as we want to live a bigger, fuller life, and if we want to really design our life, we have to connect with those gifts. We have to really be clear, what separates us from someone else? What strengths do I bring to any conversation, any meeting, any project, any relationship? What are the unique gifts that I have that can really support and help and create opportunity for people around me. What are, what are your gifts? I think one of my gifts is the gift of inspiration. I, I have known that for a long time. And I think that in the last few years, I've gotten more courageous to own it and to profess it and to use it at a higher level, right? So I think that my gift of, of being able to inspire people is powerful because my intention is to inspire people to take a really hard look at themselves and their, their wisdom and beauty and capability and, and start to discover more of their purpose so that they can live life at a high level, right? Whatever that, that version of life is for them. And I think that my gift of, of inspiration is powerful because it can create uh, I can inspire our people to take action, right? And if we're not taking action, nothing changes, nothing happens, right? So I think I spent years thinking that, you know, being able to inspire people was a little shallow or empty, you know, what if I could teach? What if I could, you know, uh, be, be uh, more of a, uh, you know, financial wizard or, or whatever. But at the end of the day, I realized that the ability to influence and inspire is something that we're all given and we should use it more. We should use it more because we have a lot of, a lot of things happening around us every day that can seem negative and chaotic, right? And so if we could support each other more and create a space uh, for us to be uh, able to inspire and influence and support, uh, there's no telling what we could do. So I love this card. This is gonna be my, my theme for the day. I accept the gifts I've been given as a high service to the world. So don't play small. That's what that really means. Don't play small, acknowledge the gifts that you have, experience uh, you know, the, the gift and in, in use it, use it because if, if it's, if it's given to you, you should give it away, right? So that's why we call it a gift. And um, the gift is for you to give to other people, right? So what are your unique gifts? What are your unique strengths? And how can you use that this week in alignment with your intention, right? In alignment with your intention that you just said a few minutes ago to be of a higher service to the world. Imagine how good you will feel come Friday. Right. Imagine how good you will feel come Friday. Right. Because at the end of the day, nothing is final. We're always moving forward. We're always going. Right. Yet. How do we want to experience that? How do we want to feel? How do we want to make others feel? How do we want to impact the world? So that's another great journal question for you is how do I want to feel doing what I do? How do I want to feel when I achieve certain goals and get results? How do I want to feel? Because that's really, I think, the motivation for us to keep moving forward too, right? Because we want to experience not just positive feelings, but we want to feel fulfillment, joy. We want to feel gratitude, passion, right? Those are the things that fuel us. So who, who's tracking with me today? Are you guys getting something good out of this? Let me know. Good morning. I see a lot of you are with me this morning. Um, I see that one of our... Um, 
Mojo members put on the Facebook chat that her intention this week is to get out of bed earlier. I love that, Kasha. It's simple, it's clear, and it's one thing that you could focus on every morning. Thank you for sharing that. So we're going to all encourage you on that. Um, so what is your intention? What is it that you want to really accomplish this week? It could be something simple. It could seem significant um, or it could seem relatively small. But at the end of the day, we've talked about this before, the small habits that you form create big change, right? It's that domino effect. So uh, I'm going to use your example, Kasha. Thanks again for sharing it. If if you set an intention around getting up early every every morning or earlier every morning, um, that one one small habit that you create, what could that lead to, right? Where are you going to use that extra time, and what will that create for you in terms of momentum and change? So I think that's fabulous. So our buzzword this morning is intention. And I think that uh, this is something that a lot of us need to bring our focus back to, right? It's just taking a moment before we start any day and asking ourselves, what is my intention for today? Before you get into your emails, start looking at your calendar. Maybe before you even have a cup of coffee, before you talk to anyone else, including the dog, what is your intention? So again, think about that right now. If you're just joining me, what is your intention for today? What is your intention for the week? Hi, Jill. I hear you. Good morning. Good morning. What are you thinking this morning? I think I love the reminder. And I know for me, the intention actually starts the night before. It's like when you're okay. a kid and you have to go to school the next day and you know everything has to be packed, ready to go and prepared. <laughs> it's sort of I love that. Model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get ready the night before because you know something's going to happen the next day. Yeah. And isn't it interesting what, you know, we have to acknowledge that always worked for us, right? When we were younger, yeah. why do we change those, those habits, right? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, an intention is, if you look at some of the definitions around the word intention, um, it's about, I'm just reading one right now, your goal, purpose, or aim. That's what intention is. Goal, purpose, or aim, right? So it's something that you mean to do. It's about being on purpose, right? It's about being on purpose rather than being accidental, rather than being, um, someone who's moving through the day responding to what's happening always rather than setting the course right so so that's my goal for you this morning is is to bring this word front and center um and so again where can you apply intention more in your life right it could be um for those of us who are really committed or focused on healthier living right? What are the intentions we have around every meal? You know, and that that's something that was a big aha for me because, and it continues to be because, you know, we can, we can sort of, you know, again, especially during the work week, you know, grab something for breakfast, lunch or whatever. And we then look back and realize, oh, I could probably eat better, right? I could probably eat better. Um, I could probably drink more water um, on the weekends. Maybe I should have one less glass of wine, you know, whatever it is, right? So I think it's about getting more clear, but being more on purpose so that you are, whatever you're doing, you can say, yeah, I intended to do that. That was intentional. It was on purpose. It wasn't done uh, being, you know, on autopilot or a little asleep at the wheel, right? So, so another definition of intention is the determination to act. The determination to act. So those of you who love to journal, this might be a, a great topic for you to journal today or throughout the week, intention, right? So where are you determined to take action? Only you can answer that question. What is a priority to you? Like I said a few minutes ago, if you could do a visual of your wheel of life, right? Scan every area of your life. Rate yourself from one to 10. 10 being, you know, this is, this is I, I, I feel like this area of my life is running on all cylinders, right? A one is, oh, I didn't even realize I should pay attention to that. 
So where is your, you know, where is your ranking in each area of your life right now? Where do you need to put more energy? Where do you need to put more intentionality? Where do you need to um, create some determination to act? And what is the purpose for it? What is the reason? What is the outcome that you want? None of this has to take a lot of time, but it needs to take some time, right? It doesn't have to take a lot of time, but we have to take some time to think, some time to get clear, not just, you know, jump out of bed and start the day and move through the day and let the day run us without us making those choices and those decisions and those um, having those moments of clarity and purpose, right? How would your life change if you could start each day and move through your day in alignment with your intentions? I'll let that sit for a minute. This is the one life we get. It is not a dress rehearsal. I don't want to get to a point in my life where I look back ever and say, wish I had done more of fill in the blank. I wish I had made that choice or decision, right? If it's there, if it's, it's something that you're thinking about, there's, there's the universe is speaking to you. So what intention do you want to make about that right now? What, what, where do you want to take some action? If you want to really get, um, pull this apart this week and you really want to get into some journaling, some meditation around intention, um, look up some of the synonyms and antonyms for intention. I love doing that. When I, they, when I think about my word for the year, uh, my word for 2022 is innovation. Um, I always look at what's similar and what might be a polar opposite because it helps me gain clarity around really the meaning of the word. So you might want to do that. You might want to look up some cinnamon, synonyms, <laughs> not cinnamon, synonyms and antonyms around the word intention. I think that could also bring you a lot of clarity. So I trust that this was inspiring for you this morning. I trust that this was uh, an opportunity for you to pause and think because, and that's what I love about our time together on Monday mornings, because I, I hope, or whenever you watch these, these uh, videos, I hope that that gives you the opportunity to take a time out and to think. Right. And that was always, I think when I first started, my intention for Monday Morning Mojo was to create a platform where people could come and connect. And certainly that is still my intention for Monday Morning Mojo. Um, as you know, we started this in May of 2020 as COVID was really starting to, um, you know, take uh, a hold of our our. our schedules and our perceptions and you know many of us were still like working from home and things were shut down and so I wanted to create a positive place where people could connect and feel supported and for um, us to you know share our thoughts and feelings and for me to use my gifts and my experience as a coach and provide you with content that would support you and, and educate you and inspire you. And certainly that has still continued today. And I think my intention also for Monday Morning Mojo has grown into my understanding of everyone. I think our reality is, you know, we, we live fast paced lives. We live fast paced lives. And so if I can give you 20 minutes, 30 minutes each week where you can just think uh, about whatever the topic is that we're talking about for the week and you can take some notes and ask yourself some questions and some of you go back and probably work on this, um, then, you know, that excites me, right? Because it gives you an opportunity to make decisions and uh, create intentions, set intentions um, and create opportunities, you know, for yourself. And I hope that if you find this to be powerful for you, that you will share it with others, whether it's, you know, something that you wrote in your notes or share the Facebook page, share any of these videos that are all, that are all on the Facebook page, as well as on my YouTube channel, just, you know, share, right? Because there's plenty of opportunity for any of us to find negativity out there. And I think that we all need more positive places to hang out. So I know I choose where I can spend my time because I want to be fed. 
right? I want to be fed emotionally and mentally. So I thank you for uh, giving me the platform and for you to be here and connect with me each week. So uh, as always, use the Facebook page for you, for your own, um, you know, chat and con communication and share your experiences and share your thoughts. Let me know what you thought of this morning's um, video. Let me know what you thought of, of our focus being intention for the week. Jill, did you want to say anything else? No, just thank you very much again. I always enjoy this and you are an inspiration. So keep up the oh, good work. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for validating what I believe is one of my gifts. I appreciate That's that. That's it. With Absolutely. Thanks. Right. Listen, everyone, have a fabulous week. Okay. You have the opportunity right now to set your intention for the week, create what is important to you, look at your goals and ask yourself, where do I want to be at the end right. of the week? What do I want to accomplish and how do I want to feel? How do I want to feel? All right. I'll be talking to you through the Facebook page. Have a wonderful, powerful day. Talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.